the pizza places do heart shaped pizzas. I just saw that in so Newsday, cute. of course. Newsday yeah. had a whole thing today, and it was like Spuntinos. A lot of a lot of them do it. I mean, heart shaped New York know, pizza. Like, come on, <laughs> forget I'm, about it. I'm Kristen, and I'm Sharon, and we're here to spill the tea. <laughs> Long Island Tea. Hey, Sharon. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Welcome back to the tea, where Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea about why we love to live and uh, be on Long Island all the time. I'm Kristen. I'm Sharon. And, and uh, we're back. And we're back. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Oof. We. It's been... This week has been crazy. I mean, we had our a big nor'easter. It snowed. It snowed, and it snowed big time. I mean, were you expecting that? I know that the media channels were like, okay, be prepared, you know, whatever. But we're always like, yeah, be prepared. And then they, then it winds up being nothing. But, mm-hmm. wow, we were slammed. It, it cracked me up. Everybody was like, who knew that was going <laughs> to happen? I'm like, everyone in the country? It everyone? Came, it came from <laughs> California. It literally came from California across the country and then hit us. But I think you're right. It's constantly we prepare for this weather that never happens. And so it's one of those things. It finally happens. and Everybody's like, whoa, who knew? <laughs> I I'm know. like, it literally said it for an entire week to be prepared. Get right? your generators. It was, Everyone's ready. It was, it was awesome. Did you guys play in it? Oh, my gosh, yes. I actually posted the cutest video on Instagram of my COVID puppy, Duke, who oh, is yes, such that. a snow dog, like frolicking, oh, frolicking in the snow. It's oh, so gosh. cute. And we all went out and played in it. It was so awesome. I mean, I love snow days, as you know. Yes. You live for them now. And I mean, they're so <laughs> awesome. And had a fire and did some work, checked in. But you know what? People like when it's a snow day, people really do kind of like enjoy the snow deal with it, shovel it, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not yeah. like you have to feel like you're at your desk the whole time. You're checking in. It's so funny. It's so funny because my husband, obviously, we talk about this all the time. He's from Maine. And he's always like, Long Island just like basically shuts down when there's an inch of snow. <laughs> but we had way more than an inch. And, you know, I was going out grocery shopping that night. I needed milk or something. And I literally went, King Collins around the block from my house. So I went to King Cullen and it's like, we closed. Yeah. I cannot Dude, believe you down. went out in the snow. That's crazy. No, I've needed a milk bell for it, girl. Oh, no, 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 no. I was part of the Long Island tradition uh, the day before the snow hits. Everyone knows when the snow is right, coming. Right. Whether, and it, I call it snowmageddon shopping. Yes. And yes. literally everyone that's ever lived goes to the grocery store at the exact time and buys if you ever look in the carts about the stuff that people are buying it's mostly cookies i feel or like chips, right <laughs> like chips. bags of chips i mean my, beer. maybe yeah <laughs> beer yeah it might be of course we went to the wine store too like oh yeah, yeah. and you know they my dad was like t- i talked to my dad who was in arizona and he was like oh you know what they say kristen for every inch of snow and i thought he was going to say something else and I'm like, a bottle of wine? <laughs> and and he's like, what? I'm like, no, that's what Long Islanders are like. Every inch of snow yeah. projected is how many bottles of wine you should yes. make sure you have. And he was like, yeah. no, I was going to say that's it's like a million dollars of cleanup. I'm like, oh, well, oh or God. that too. Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah, somebody has to clean it up and shovel it and all of that. But those of us who get the luxury of staying home and playing in it and building a fire and drinking cocoa, it's just yeah. awesome. I just love snow days because you're right. Everyone shuts down. Everyone's slow. I mean, you can't go anywhere. You just sit sit back and enjoy it. Other than the people, like the essential workers, and bless them, the ones that have to be right. out in it right. and, and help dig us out of it. And the government workers, Thank again, thanks to all the people that, you know, actually do jobs during that time. But for right. the rest of us who get to just sit in our homes and go, oh, it's so pretty. How many inches? I know. And you watch your patio <laughs> furniture and that's how you know how many yeah. inches it is. Yeah, exactly. I just love it. I love snow days. I love winter and people still laugh at me. And and it's so funny talking to my family back in Arizona. They really cannot understand the concept of it. And look, right. northern Arizona gets snow. So it's not like they don't know. But in Phoenix, they're, they're like, What? Yeah, I took a picture. Like, it was a blizzard happening what's here. what's happening. And they're like, yeah. oh, my God, are you okay? 
And they're all what concerned you, and they're, scared for you. <laughs> they're, seriously. And I remember when I first moved here five years ago, um, we had a big blizzard. And it was yeah. called a blizzard. And honestly, <laughs> I had, Sharon, do you remember? I had been yeah. here for a couple months. I right. had no idea. I tried to buy uh, snow tires. I went to Costco to buy snow tires because <laughs> I'd never driven in snow in my life. And right. I was like, and I, I think you have like a front wheel drive car, yeah. right? Like I had an you- SUV, like a giant SUV, but it was yeah. not four wheel drive Horrible or all wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. Because I didn't need that. I was like, why would I pay extra for all wheel yeah. drive? Like, I don't need right. that. So I had this giant SUV that was just useless um although it did it did handle quite well but I was like do I get I went to Costco I'm like I need like chains for the tires and they were like we don't uh Costco like that's the funniest part I go to Costco for everything like if it they I know, I love it. <laughs> Costco does not carry it it does not I probably don't need it I don't need it um but I was like what about like the spikes and they're like right. no nope. yeah. but that no one is driving no nope. We don't do that. That's, Where are you driving? With I had no idea. Tires? And then I was, I literally ordered snow tires and I was talking to like a, a lifer along Island and they're like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Just get yeah. all wheel, just get all weather tires. What are you doing? Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Right? It turns out I'm not from here. I don't, so I don't I, know. I literally don't know. And they're like, okay, call Costco and cancel those. Cancel your order. Yeah. And thank God I did because I, I would have had to buy two sets of tires and get them changed out. I didn't know. I thought you had to. Yeah. Yeah. And then I remember that it was a blizzard and they were calling it blizzard, not nor'easter. It was called a blizzard. And then I was driving down the LIE before it hits because, you know, it's funny. It's like the eye of the storm. Like before it hit, beautiful blue skies. You would never know. It's coming. And, you know, the signs that tell you about road like warnings. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. B was missing, I guess, on the sign. And it said lizard warning. <laughs> and I, I took a picture of it with my phone as I was driving. Probably, but I was like, now this I'm used to. Yeah. Like a lizard, lizard warning, warning I can handle. This yeah. <laughs> I know. Fine. I'm like, blizzard, I don't know what you're doing. And, right. and so I remember I um, lived in a house on the hill at the time, this super steep, yeah. crazy driveway. It was That driveway was insane. It was literally insane. It went straight up and curved. And yeah. I didn't know. I parked my car in the garage like a crazy person. No one had told me at the time you're supposed to park at the bottom of your driveway, facing out. Like, like everyone on Long Island knows Windshield this. wipers up. First of all, right? I'll never forget the t- first time I came to the parking lot and literally everyone's windshield wipers were up. I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? What does this mean? Oh, my God. What that is this is so alien? Funny. It's like, an, it's like <laughs> you're talking. To so I didn't know. So I parked fully at the top of my driveway in my garage because to me, oh. that seems normal when the storm's yeah. coming that you would actually park inside your garage. Right. And, um, and I was like, I'm watching the accumulation blizzard. I'm watching all the way. And I'm like, this is so weird. I'm going to go to bar. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> and I, like, I like, I fully got into my outfit. Cause I just, it, I couldn't literally couldn't, understand connect. Yeah. that you would be actually not be able to go outside. It's never happened right. to me in my life. You go anywhere all the right. time. Right. And so I opened the garage and there's like this giant thing of snow. And I'm like, I don't, I can't get out. What's, I'm trapped. What's happening? <laughs> I'm trapped. And then I had to pay like a gazillion dollars to a snowplow person to get up yeah. my driveway. Yeah, it's a big thing. You have to know where to put your car for the plows, where to not put your car, how to position it. Yeah. It's a, you or we need, can go into yeah. the story about like how our landlord the other day sends us this comical Hilarious. email. I'm glad I it's not just me. It, but he sends a picture of somebody somebody took the picture in our office building and it was a picture of our parking lot and it was all the cars blocking each other because the they couldn't tell so they, cars they had parked tell. towards each other in the spot and then they couldn't tell where the lane was so cars like parked behind the cars and then there's cars like fully in the middle they can't get out in the middle <laughs> and i will say you're right long islanders we don't really know. I mean, we act like we know, but we're not like upstate that's getting 40 inches of snow and craziness. Right. We get just right. enough Maine, snow. Like where they're like, right. Which is where like they're completely used to, you know, two feet of snow. And they're like, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, this is nothing. What? No, it snows. It snowed probably between 12 and 15 inches at my house, which is huge. Yeah. And it was so awesome. And then they, they don't even play. The school's like, now we're closed next to yeah. they don't. They don't even like the night before. They're like, the blizzard's coming. Yeah. We're shutting down. Anyway, I loved it. I love the snowstorm. I love winter. I was super excited when Puxitani Phil said six more weeks of winter. I know. I'm, I'm like, fun? yes. I almost <laughs> I, 
saved that from my tea, but I'm like, yeah, everybody knows that. Uh, but, um, <laughs> but it's interesting because Long Island has our own version of that. Uh, mm-hmm. Malvern, Melville, Mel, and Hal something yeah. or other. Yeah. Holbrook, Hol- Hol- Holbrook, Bill. Hal, yeah. and Melville, Mel. Melvern. Melvern. I think you had it right, Melvern. Yeah. So we have two of them on Long Island. <laughs> and they both, of course, predicted an early spring. Right. So – Listen, I'm going with Puxitani Phil. I love Long Island, but I'm like, I don't think you're right. I think that's hope- <laughs> I think that's hopeful thinking by Long Islanders. Right, right. But we wish, we wish. Yes, that's Long Islanders going because then spring leads into summer. We all know Long Island summers are the best thing yeah, ever. So exactly. anyway, I love the winter. It's been super fun. And, you know, again, we don't have to dig out of anything really. So it's easy. You know, not right. much to snuggle and sh- And look, what is it, three days later and it's now it's, it's gorgeous. Gone. It's gorgeous. I'm actually it is. so hot in my office right now. No, it's hot. In it's my hot. <laughs> um, anyway, but I think they're going to get another snowstorm later on. So anyway, I love the winter, the snow. It's so cute. Weather is fabulous. And, uh, and it's been, because of that, kind of a crazy week because you lose yeah. a couple of days. And then you try to catch up. Catch up. You play catch up. And yeah. it's tough. Yeah, it's been crazy. But um, but but this helps, and the podcast helps, and the wine helps. It sure does. And this is delicious. Yeah. So Sharon, thank goodness you're still uh, in quarantine. So you went and got the down the rabbit hole wine that we're drinking, the rosé. Yes, I did. And my sister actually, because I'm in quarantine, went up getting it for me, and it's actually so delicious. It is good. Um, but she also she was like, I loved her shop. She was so adorable. I mean, she she actually picked me up three more bottles. Oh, that's just so. We were just like talking things. to a assemblyman um, who represents Sayville, and he was so funny because I he was like, you know, you know, you're familiar with Sayville. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. In fact. You know, we've been drinking down the rabbit hole wines and we're going to be drinking them every week for Black History Month to celebrate black owned businesses. And he's like, oh, my gosh, I drive by that every day and it looks so cute. I'm like, yeah, the wines are awesome. They are. And it's funny because I'm like trying to tell her where to go and how to get there or whatever. And I'm like, this is the address. She's like, "Uh, I know where it is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And yet so many people hadn't been in. So many people have not been in there. And so I'm glad to help spread the word on them. But Sharon, why don't you talk about the wines? This is your specialty. Okay. So this is the Mencia Rosé. Mm-hmm. Um, what I loved most about it is that this specific one is a support of their project of Ole and Obrigado. It supports three of their favorite charities. And on the back of the bottle, it tells you about their charities. The, the liquid geography is our way of saying thank you for the many good things that have happened to us since we started Ole and Obrigado. The Soulful Wine donates 100% of its profits to the T.J. Mar- Martell Foundation in its research for cancer cures. The South Bronx, Bronx Education Sharon. Foundation. <laughs> You're so funny. You're like, okay, sorry. Am I delayed? No. You're just like, the reading is, you're cracking me up. You're like, the, the South Bronx. What, it, no. I can't see it. I got to put my glasses on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. That explains. This is why I'm making you do it because I didn't want to put my glasses on, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And then I'm like, "Okay, that now I get right? it. Makes totally sense. explain." Yep. Thank you. Sorry, Thank I'll shut you. up. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to shame you. The South Bronx Education Foundation in promoting the academic and personal achievement of young people, and to wheeling forward in providing comprehensive services to individuals with disabilities. Cheers from everyone at Ole Abrigado. For tasting notes, pairing info, and reviews, please visit aligabrigado.com. That is so cool. It is so cool, 100% right? 100% of the profits of this wine go to charity. And it is it is delicious. Well, it um, is beautiful. It's a beautiful bottle. Uh, yeah. It's got the beautiful flowers called Liquid Geography. And I just love the fact, you know, my favorite thing about it was as a screw top. Yes, like, that's yay. always my favorite. I don't need a wine opener. <laughs> yeah, it's a screw top. You just open it up, yeah. and it's a beautiful color. Um, and you feel like uh, not only are you supporting a black-owned business at down the rabbit hole wines, but you're also supporting all those charities. That's amazing. Like, we should just that's drink amazing. this more often. Absolutely. All the time. I know. I got <laughs> Makes you feel good bottle. about doing it, right? <laughs> Exactly. Well, I love that. And it's really cool to continue to support the black owned businesses. And we will continue to do that uh, not only through Black History Month with this February, but um, all throughout the year. And um, so, but you know what's coming up around the corner? 
And the reason mm-hmm. why I think we're drinking rosé again is yeah. because it's pretty and pink and it's almost Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. What do you do? Like, what is your most favorite memory so far with Thomas oh. and Valentine's Day? Oh, my God. No. I, don't put me on the spot like that. You know, oh, that's hard. No, because you know what? We're still kind of, you know, we're still kind of new, right? So we're still in okay. that not even like newlywed phase. Um, so Valentine's has always been really nice. I mean, I got a really nice gift last year. I was like, oh. um, but no, I was like, we can't, we can't sustain that. So just calm down. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Chill out. tone it down. Okay. Oh. Um, but, tr- but traditionally for Valentine's day and you know what Valentine's day, by the way, I feel like we should just rebrand it because I don't think it should just be for, for couples. Well, they have the whole Galentine's, Galentine's day. day, but you know, what? I just so thought- cute. Yeah, but I just feel like Valentine's Day should just be about celebrating love, you know? Yeah. Just putting yeah. love out in the world, just, and that's why I wore my, like, little love sweater today. So cute. Um, I just really, I think that we should just rebrand Valentine's Day to be about <laughs> love because it's been a hard year, especially, and it doesn't matter yeah. if you're a, in, in a gal pal or or if you're in a guy's group, or if you're single, or if you're in a relationship, it should just be about, hey, wh- just telling the people around you, whether it's your family, that you love them. It's a day of making Definitely. sure you, like, love affirmations. Definitely. Just, I think, yeah. you know, we, we also shouldn't just sell it to one day, you know? I think that that's something we should be doing all the time. We should um, be doing that all I the know. time. Because life is short, right? And, you know, you never know what could happen. And I don't know. I I think it's important. It's important to tell the people you love them. Well, I tell that to my teenagers all the time. My teenage girls who are amazing and I love them, but they can be mean. And I do the mom guilt. They'll be like, they'll say something mean on the way out. I'm like, hope that's not the last time you say that to me. Right? I do the same thing. (laughs) I'm like, you should tell me you love me. Honestly, like seriously, this could be the last time. You know? <laughs> I know, such a mom and thing to do. And I get called like crazy. Yeah, like, you're yeah. Crazy. It's okay. like such a mom guilt thing to do, but I love yeah. it because it's true. And we need to instill that in them that it, it, you know, every day is a gift. And anyway, I'm excited. I love Valentine's Day because I think if we think about it in that way, that it's about just love and, you know, not just in relationships, but like with your kids and your mom and your your siblings, you know, and mm-hmm. your coworkers. Um, Alyssa. Yeah. Alyssa Thanks. brought us a Valentine's Day gift. I know, and I'm so sad I'm not there. Yeah, thank you. Now but I have to do this by to... myself. Um, yeah, but it's and, so, so cute. So speaking of just sharing love with people that you are around, Alyssa, because we did a great um, episode on Long Island TV on Valentine's things or like self-care. Bougie Valentine's, yeah. Well, we did Bougie Valentine's, but before that we did self-care and wellness. Oh, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And we went to East Wind and the East End Shops, and they had these cute um, – chocolate hearts that are so cute i'm going to show the people on uh youtube if you're watching it it's adorable and they it's fill so them with whatever you want like you can get a big one and you can fill it you can even fill it with like a note that says like i love you or will you marry me a ring you could do anything and then they give you this little mallet and you i'm breaking it on the air you break Might it i need to put it back in there Doing is the this. mallet made out of chocolate too? Oh, I broke That's, it. No, I, I just don't know how to uh, beat a mallet on something. Apparently. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I just broke it open, and it's so cute. Oh, and it's filled with like little M and M's. Look, I'm gonna oh, show awesome. you like little pink and. So I think thank so you, adorable. Alyssa, our producer, for doing this. And I'm sorry you're not here to share it with me, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat it. Um, I think it's just good. It's fun, so fun to just. We need anything to celebrate these days. Yeah, right. definitely. I think it's adorable that they do that. I mean, when on the LITV episode, they we got some good footage of what else they do, and and it that looked like an amazing little shop. You oh, know, I thought that was so cute. But there, the cool thing about Long Island, there are so many ways that you can indulge in Valentine's yeah. Day. Like we did the bougie one, which um, just came out. And it was like exotic cars, helicopter rides of the Manhattan skyline or the Hamptons yeah. coastline. Or you could do, you know, we did a whole Hamptons house you could rent. But honestly, it doesn't even have to be that. It could be right. an adorable chocolate heart like this or a hot cocoa bomb. Or, or you know, it's my yeah. absolute favorite. Tell me. So Long Island. Mm-hmm. Um, the pizza places do heart-shaped pizzas. I just saw Which that in so Newsday, cute. of course. Newsday yeah. had a whole thing today, and it was like Spuntinos. A lot of a lot of them do it. I mean, heart shaped New York know, pizza. Like, 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> Forget would, about it. <laughs> Forget about it. I would honestly take that probably over chocolate. Yes, definitely. I, I like would the pizza. Too. Yeah. I love it. Now I'm going to eat this the whole time. So, um, but there are a lot of ways to celebrate Valentine's. And Sharon, I, I, I mean, what do you guys do? Um, we don't really do anything. <laughs> I talked about it last episode when we were younger and pre-children. We went to the same mm-hmm, restaurant mm-hmm, every year. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, now it's fun because I have my son who's eight. And a lot of the times he'll surprise me with flowers, like in the random Aww. time, you know, like he's so adorable. Um, but my girls, like I just, I eat them up and, you know, we just, we love each other. We love each other all day, every day. Anyway. That's so cute. That's so cute. You know what? I, and even in like, one thing I've very rarely done is gone out on right. Valentine's. You know, I waited tables through college. Right, right. So, you know. <laughs> I've been in the business and the service industry. God bless all of our restaurant workers out there. Because if you've ever been in the restaurant industry, you know that we call like Valentine's Day, like Mother's Day, two busiest restaurant days of the year. Uh, We call them amateur night Um, because the people that come out on those days are the people that never go out to eat the rest of the year. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) And they come out for like a special occasion and and it's rough. It's not easy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't you know the regulars I can't are the ones imagine. that you, when you're waiting tables, they get it, they understand, yeah. they, they know, you know, the deal, how to tip. They're calm, you know, they're calm. People that go out on only special occasions, the expectations are high, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, oh god, yeah, for sure, and it's slammed. Sure. Um, yeah. So I think that there are so many restaurants this year, and again, this is kind of one of the silver linings that are doing takeout. Like prefix, yeah. takeout, amazing. And they've really mastered it. Like in the olden days, like 19, uh, 2019, <laughs> uh, you would do, <laughs> yeah, you would do takeout. And it was like, you know, it was a hot mess. Yeah. Styrofoam. Yeah, you didn't know what was yeah. going on. Things were spilling. Now everyone's got the packaging down. The they takeout, do. And their curbside pickup. Oh, you know, it's down. They're, they're down. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. A, yeah. It's a great experience. Like they have it ready. And there's yeah. a lot of places, and uh, we actually have uh, information on our website. You can go to a lot of great places. And there was a great Newsday article, too, like takeout restaurants, where to go, and uh, and just enjoy it, like from the yeah. comfort of your own home, if you're not going to go out. Yeah. Get the delicious wine, light the fire. Yeah. This, this, the wine, <laughs> this wine is delicious. It is so good. It's really it's really yummy. Um, and, and you know what? Again, if you're talking about – Long Island, the cool thing about Long Island is that there's all these little downtowns, there's all these little shops, there's all these yeah. amazing, uh, what do you call them, like craft makers that do everything, right? Right, So right. another one we wanted to talk about is a, a new, another new partner of ours is, uh, what's it called, Divine? Divine Self-Rituals. Divine, Divine Self-Rituals. And they do, yeah. and so they don't have a shop. They don't have a bricks and mortar shop. You order from them online, um, and we'll online, put it in the yeah. notes. But we have a couple of samples here, if you can see on YouTube, that they sent us. And let me tell you, this is another way to just indulge. It doesn't have to be right. food, okay? Like, if you're keto, calm down, all right? right. We, we don't have we to eat it. pizza. We got you. <laughs> you're still doing dry January. You're still – you're the ones that are losing weight. Fine. Right. Fine. Okay? We're not. I mean, I'm not. I shouldn't speak for – anyway. We're not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm eating the chocolate heart and drinking the wine. But if you – Another way is these are these great, incredible, I think they're like organic products, and they have everything. So this is uh, whipped lavender body butter. And first of all, if you if you have trouble sleeping, if you want something right before yeah. you go to bed, especially in the winter, because in the yeah, winter definitely. we get so dry, you know what I mean? Like right, your skin right. gets so dry. This, I wish you could smell this, Sharon. Oh, my it's God. It's amazing, I bet. It is so rich with lavender I, I just I want, want to lick it <laughs> I don't even know I can't even tell you it is so amazing all of this stuff is so awesome so they sent us a sample so they have this wonderful whipped lavender body butter and then this is a warm vanilla sugar candle come on you can't go wrong with a candle again Valentine's Day you know you're going to be set in the mood These are, this is Right. Or even your own self-care, you know, like take a bath. Yourself Seriously. A bath, I was going to say the candle, the bubble bath, especially in the winter. This is, yeah. this is another lost art. Okay. 
Long Islanders, I know we all complain about the winter, but listen, when you live somewhere hot, bubble bath doesn't have the same effect. Right, right. Relish it. Enjoy it because you light yeah. the candle. You get the bath bomb. Oh, my God. You get the bath bomb, and then you lube up with the lavender body butter. Oh, the lavender body. Well, this is a whole new level, Sharon. Then I then know. God knows what happens. You know what I mean? Exactly. In your household. I don't know. Exactly. Like, after that, don't tell you me. Know, it's like, you ever see that? I, I keep on referencing memes, but it's so funny. It's like me after I change my sheets and take a hot bath and lube up with lavender body butter and then it's like a little chihuahua in like satin sheets <laughs> oh <laughs> that's so, so cute it's but so then here's cute. the deal the next day you can you can have this the next day is this this is my jam right here this is coffee scrub handmade in New York okay and it's like this it's like this exfoliant coffee wow. scrub especially it's, you it's, need that now oh, right oh my god this smells like legit coffee grounds. I cannot oh God, tell you. Awesome. When, Al- when Alyssa brought this to me, I was like, oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm uh, going to drink it. <laughs> it smells so amazing. And you know it's got all the nutrients and enrichments for your skin. And this is like – this is going to wake you up in the morning in the shower. Oh, my God. I'm dying for this. And this is – I'm just going to say it again. Wow. It's divine – I was just going to say divine self rituals. Okay. And you can order them probably no matter where you are in the country, you can order them online. And that's the cool thing is they make this all handmade from like their home and it's incredible. And then they have this other, the last thing is this like lemon scented, um, it's creamy, but it's a hand sanitizer. Wow. Is it like a lotion? Yeah. It's funny because you have to get used to it. I think because it does make it, um, I'm used to a hand sanitizer that's like a liquid. Alcohol. That, yeah, alcohol. <laughs> and this is like, it's kind of like you can see, if you're on YouTube, you can see it's like um, glycerin-y, but also oh. a hand sanitizer. So especially, again, in the winter, you know, right. when you exactly. need a hand sanitizer, but you don't necessarily want to pour uh, alcohol, alcohol on, on your dry yeah. skin. This but you're is, already dry because you're washing your hands a million times. Yeah. And, and it's a black-owned business, if I didn't mention that, by the way, which right. is amazing, and which is just, a, you know, another bonus But um, for Black History Month. But, again, just it, the products are so awesome, and uh, and we're happy to share them with everyone and, and say, like, even if you don't want food, get something for yourself or for yeah, your loved definitely. one. And enjoy definitely. Valentine's Day. Just be like, I love me, first right? of all. <laughs> right? You know who deserves it? Me. Yeah. You know who I love? Me. Because right, exactly. you can't love anyone if you don't love yourself first. For sure. Right? Cheers Definitely. to that. Should we cheers to that? Yes. yes. Cheers. Okay. But we also have some great tips on other things to do, like things to actually do on Long Island. Well, I mean, since we're talking businesses and stuff, do we want to talk about 1-800-Flowers? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I didn't – first of all, no matter where you are in the country, your Valentine's Day is probably – impacted by what's going on right here on Long Island. And you don't even know right. it. <laughs> you, don't you don't even, even know. realize it. You don't That's even amazing. know it. Yeah. So Sharon, tell it, tell us, tell them like 1-800-Flowers. Tell us the deal. All tell right. us the tea. So 1-800-Flowers is a flower shop. I'm sorry. I mean, does anyone, does anyone not know what, what 800 Flowers is? I mean, they don't only just own 1-800-Flowers now. They own Sherry's Berries. Oh. And, um, the Popcorn Factory, or oh. Harry and David. What? Which, yeah. 100 all... Flowers owns Harry and David? Isn't that amazing? What? Um, Do you know how much Harry and David I was – stuff I've bought? <laughs> over the, I, I love those love Harry, Harry and David baskets. And David. Yeah. But the and founder, Jim, flowers. Uh, Jim McCain, purchased a flower shop on the east side of Manhattan in 1976. Ooh. And over the next 10 years, he opened 14 different locations throughout NYC metro area and Long Island. In 1986, he acquired the number 1-800-Flowers and renamed the company. Genius. 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 In 1995, he launched his website, 1-800-Flowers.com. Genius again. And then since then, the company has expanded and acquired Harry and David, Charities Berries, and Popcorn Factory. Jim's brother, Chris McCain, has taken over since and is now the president and CEO, but they have over 3,300 employees and give over 20 million gifts a year. I mean, and it's it's the McCann is the McCann family, right? Is that McCann? Correct. Yeah. Chris McCann is the CEO, and they're they're a Long Island company, 
and they do so much for the community. But they, I mean, how awesome! People don't realize, you know, all of the incredible uh, corporations that we have. I mean, not just one hundred flowers, which I think everyone in the, you know, once you're a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> when you're big enough to be a Saturday Night Live yes. skit, um, for sure. <laughs> and then there's a great Saturday Night Live skit about 1-800 Flowers. If I you haven't, did you see it? Did about? you see? It? It's Kristen Wiig or whatever, and it's oh like your God, mom, and your I mom's so her. annoying. She's it's 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 hilarious. First of all, yeah. So I think like obviously you've made it into the cultural right, vernacular right. when you're that. <laughs> So they, but on, that caliber. yeah. So, but honestly, we also have Estee Lauder. Um, Canon is based here. Um, yeah. Tons of developers. Again, I always talk about like Pirates Booty was, you know, discovered here and Aerospace. And Cliff, so, right? Like, yeah, crazy. it's amazing. So we have so many corporations that are based here, and uh, and we're proud that One Eight Hundred Flowers is making everyone's Valentine's Day across the country special. And you're special. welcome, America. Right, America. Yeah, cheers to Long Island. Yeah, uh, because I don't know what you would do. Flowers. God, you don't know what you would do, America, without Long Island and one hundred flowers. What would you do? You don't know who to call. Right, they, you'd be like, oh my God, trying to go through Yelp and finding your local florist. <laughs> and, and the cool thing about one hundred flowers, though, is, and I don't think people realize this, is that they actually do contract with your local florist. So right. It's, right. this is not. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, it's really important to know that you know you're not going. You know, you're not not supporting local business right. by uh, ordering from 100 Flowers because they support your local business right. um, wherever you are in the country. So, yeah, that's a cool little tidbit on Valentine's Day, Sharon. Good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, there it's a it's a different Valentine's Day, obviously, than most. And I think a lot of people are going to be staying closer to home or doing different things. But there are so many ways to enjoy it. I mean, if there are a lot of our um, hotels that are offering packages. And Doing let me just packages, say, if you yeah. have not been out in a while, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've been staring at those four walls of your bedroom for a long time. Right. Right. Uh, you know, and, and long. <laughs> COVID on relationships, you know, for some, Could it's like the weight loss. Break, right? Some people <laughs> have thrived. Some right. people have struggled. You know what right. I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And honestly, either way, you should maybe get out away for a night. Yeah. Take, yep. a, take a moment yeah. and, you know, step out. I mean, East Wind uh, Spa, and Spa is doing an amazing package with, you know, they do always great packages. But on our website, we have uh, different partners that we have that are participating in this Valentine's, Galentine's Day. Um, I just think it's amazing. It's important. Like you said, it's important to get out, to take a moment. And just do some self care or with your loved one and and embrace it. Yeah, and and another great another great property that I love to highlight, and we're going to be highlighting her on our Women's uh, History Month in March, is the Southampton Inn. Yeah. Uh, so the Southampton Inn in Southampton, it's first of all, it's not that far because yeah. you get um, it's like right as you're kind of coming into the Hamptons. It's 90 rooms. It's the, the largest hotel in the Hamptons. Well, and, it's uh, and yeah. it's owned and run by a woman, Dee Dee. Let me tell you, she is savvy, and she does the cutest packages. The rooms are great, and she's always got uh, deals going on, specials, whatever. And she's got a great Valentine's package. You can. This is all going to be on discoverlongisland.com, so you don't need to have us hear about it. Right. But Southampton Inn is great, and you know what else I love, which would be a really special thought or idea for Valentine's, whether you go for dinner or a wine tasting or overnight, or you know. I didn't realize before I moved here that the Great Gatsby was based on Long Island. Yeah. I mean, the you East. Didn't know that no, you no, here. no one yeah. knows. Let me tell you, no one knows that. I know. I know. No one That's knows. Crazy. And, and then, well, I shouldn't say that because then uh, my kids read it this year. And so I'm watching the, uh, what's his name? The actor. The, I'm asking because it's like a, it's a. The Great Gatsby book. movie. Who's the Great Gatsby movie? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I can't Titanic. even his name. Seriously. Come on. I love this guy. Anyway. Oh my God. We all love him. So I'm watching the Great Gatsby movie, and it's about Long Island. They talk clearly yeah. the East Egg, and it was filmed at Ohita, right? It's yeah, and it's gorgeous. And and uh, now that I live here, I obviously know that the light, the beacon that he talks about across the water, is like that's the Long Island Sound, yeah. and it's so romantic. But so many of these tycoons built these these tycoons of oil and rail and steel, 
you know, that they all had their mansions on the North Shore of yeah. Long Island, and now we can enjoy them. Like right. the Glen Cove Mansion. Like tour. Yeah. yeah. It has a great, uh, they have a ton of stuff going on for Valentine's. You can do wine tastings. You can do a prefix dinner. You can do an overnight stay. And the same thing with Ohika Castle. Ohika okay. Castle. Ohika Castle, yeah. And let me just tell you, okay, mm-hmm. if you have not mm-hmm. been to Ohika Castle, this place is mind-blowing. Um, you know, I went to the Biltmore in Asheville, and everybody in the country knows the Biltmore. I don't know right. why everybody in the country doesn't know Ohiki doesn't Castle know because yeah. it is amazing. And um, so many movies and like Taylor Swift's Blank so Space many. video have been filmed there. Do you know that the base price of a wedding at Ohiki Castle, $100,000? Yeah, sight fee. <laughs> Let me tell you, doubt, like it's, um, and so many people do it. I mean, people yeah, get married. You very, can't get a rent. You can't get a date. It's a Long Island thing. It's amazing, but you don't have to get married there. You don't have to have hundred thousand uh, dollars. They have a great restaurant. You can do brunch there. They have Sunday brunch, yeah. and it's spectacular. The grounds. One of the former owners of Ohiki Castle, by the way, is the Monopoly guy that the the game Monopoly was based off of. The guy with wow. he was so rich that they based the game off of him, like the white the white mustache. Yeah, and, the yeah. and the the tour there is just the grounds are immaculate. So I definitely recommend. Wow. You know, the we call it the Gold Coast mansions. Right. And there's several of them and you can you don't have to be money bags to do this. Okay. No, but one of the one of the things that I was gonna mention was um the Vanderbilt Museum and the Planetarium. Mm. That's a fun date, right? Go out to eat and go to the planetarium and, and see a show. That's a great yeah. idea, Sharon. You know, it's a little romantic. Yeah. The Vanderbilts are from Long Island and the Vanderbilt right. Mansion is here and there's a great museum and planetarium. That's a great idea. And you know the road that our office is on, uh, Motor Parkway? Uh, Vanderbilt w- Motor Parkway. Yeah, it was yeah. It, it, Motor Parkway, the, the road that our office is on, was um, called Motor Parkway because it was like the race track that the their Vanderbilt's. Raceway. Yeah, yeah. And they built it it's, to just race their own cars just, on. Just have fun. Yeah. But so, it's funny because like, it totally loops around. It's one loop. And I, for so long, I'm like, geographically um challenged yeah. <laughs> challenged <laughs> when it comes i've been there for how, 20 years and i still don't realize how motor parkway connects but it's fine <laughs> yeah so i think that you know whether you're getting whether you just relax order in have a nice bottle of wine get something for the bath or your skin or get a nice candle you know it there's so much you can do on Long Island to celebrate Valentine's Day. And I say we celebrate it. I say we celebrate every holiday to its fullest these days. Definitely. Absolutely. You have to embrace it and really just celebrate it to its fullest. Like you said, I think that everyone's looking for any source of happiness right now. And if you can find it in Valentine's Day or, you know, St. Patrick's Day or whatever the case may be, but just just embrace it and support your local business. Yeah, and you don't have to have a lot of money. I I know we talk about some you know bougie and, and fun stuff that you can do that's kind of over the top because we have a lot of that too. But but you don't have to do that. You don't have to break the bank. I mean the little no. this this heart that Alyssa gave me this little chocolate heart. So much joy, this brought me. So much she joy. was like, I have a surprise yeah. for you, and I'm like, oh my so god, <laughs> so much joy. And honestly, just the process of breaking it was a whole thing. Right. It was right. very experiential. <laughs> you know what's brought me so much joy? What? Going to down the rabbit hole and purchasing this rosary. Yes. <laughs> Whatever brings you joy. And and I just want to make sure we say this was at the East this was at the East Wind shops and it was at the Carousel Bake Shop is where she got right. this heart. Right. But they have a couple of other places you can get like heart I'm sure your local bakery has like heart-shaped stuff, whatever, donuts. Oh my gosh. So one of the yeah. other, one of the other tips I was going to give our listeners is We've talked about it a couple times, but the downtown deals, mobile travel pass that we have, um, if you go to discoverlongisland.com slash deals, you can download the downtown deals. And one of our newest downtown is Bayshore. And um, I woo, Sharon's hometown, all of her haunts. And like when the girl's like, I want to haunt your haunts. I'm your like, haunts, yeah. Sharon's in Bayshore. Okay. <laughs> you can find her when she gets out of quarantine. In Bayshore, and and I was looking at the Bayshore downtown travel deal today, and there were some great ideas for Valentine's. I thought the North Fork Donut Company is there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. even just 
even just waking your family up with some beautiful donuts that right, are like breakfast. red and pink and sprinkles and you know and they're so pretty like, they're so you look pretty on so cute and it's just a great way to just kick off the day and it's you know you're talking like 10 12 bucks what a right. great thing and i loved it and then and you can get a discount on our downtown deals travel pass of 10 percent at, right. at any right. all of these places in bayshore so in addition to it not being expensive you get a discount um and the other thing that sharon you and i have to do when you're out of quarantine and when we go to Bayshore, is Pino's palette. I know. How awesome is that? Yeah. I think yeah. that even it's just such, whoever came up with this concept, it's all over. Well, tell, tell palette, everyone about the concept. So it's a paint and sip, yeah. right? Yeah. So you go and um, you schedule your paint. They have traditionally um, their own, like they tell you what you're going to paint, right? But you get to sip wine while you're doing so, and you can do it with your favorite gal pal, or you can do it with your boyfriend, husband, fiance, whatever. But it's just a fun, I've done it before, and it's just a fun night out regardless. And you get to take home something you created. I think it's so cute. Yeah, I love this concept, and it, and they do such a great job, and they have Valentine's packages. And on our Downtown Deals app, you save 10%. Now, I do want to say that that's not off specialty classes, so I don't know that it it, it's applicable for their Valentine's Day or whatever their Valentine's right, weekend. Right. But, but if they do you, have that yeah, if you get uh, like a, a gift card, okay, and you want to give that to someone for Valentine's Day to come back when it's not so busy or crazy, right. um, you get ten percent off. And so fun! What a fun thing to do, either for yourself or and and cool again, socially distanced. You know, something right. easy you Everybody's can do. Protected. Wear your mask yeah. and like just. Go do something fun and creative and an outlet and have some wine while you're doing it. Right? So fun. I'm so so excited about the new Bayshore Downtown Travel Deals app. So I think that, you know, please go to discoverlongisland.com and look at all of the ways that you can celebrate uh, Valentine's Day on Long Island. And more than anything, just, you know what, we're here to spread the love. Yeah, always. Spread Spread the the love always. Yeah. Valentine's Day or not. Yeah. And so, speaking of spreading the love, Sharon, do you know what time it is? I do. It's It's tea tea time. time. Okay. Um, I don't know what your tea is, and I think I left my tea article on my desk. Um, Yeah, I've got my tea article. There's like an an article right there. Sorry. So, uh, Sharon, why don't you start with your tea? Okie dokie. Um, this one is fun because it's, it's our girls going out and doing their thing social media wise. Um, but it also encompasses what, what different Long Island businesses are doing. And one of the, um, upcoming events for Valentine's day is a Cupid Valentine's pop-up on main street in Farmingdale, um, celebrate your love with your romantic music and ambience of floral decor from floor to ceiling and seducing array of Valentine's cocktails and delicious, delicious food menu by main street social. Um, they've done a Christmas one app as well. And we did a TikTok on that. So our girls, Brie and Catherine are going to go out and do some filming on that. Oh, it'll be on TikTok. It'll be on our TikTok, which is cool. I think that these little pop-ups are so fun that they just like we did there was a harry potter one recently too i they're just what a cute idea right so valentine's day go to the pop-up cupid bar uh in on main street in farmingdale um it's gonna be fun look for our tiktok yeah look for our tiktok (laughs) and and it's probably one of those things where you don't have to go out on valentine's day if you don't want to go right like it's the you know it goes on probably a couple days before a couple days after where you can extend it and enjoy it that's cool yeah, it's a cool little tea And they time, always I do, think. like, awesome, like, um, themed cocktails around it. Yeah. I think I think it's a fun little night out, you know? That's a good so idea. I think once I'm done with quarantine, my tea time is going to be that we're going to go do this. <laughs> we have a lot to do <laughs> to when get you get out. out of quarantine. We've got to – we have we have a big to-do list. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I'm like, get back here. I was going to say get home. Right. I I'm almost so said get home. get home. Get home. Get home. Where are you? <laughs> Right? Sharon, I miss you. I know. I know. I, so much happens in a day. And it does. I'm like, I mean, it's so funny. Like when we, right before we started recording, we're like, we, what was your day like? 
<laughs> you know, it's just. I know. We just, yeah, we, we down and I download throughout the day. So anyway, I miss you. I'm so glad you're safe though. Um, that's yeah. cool tea time. So here's my tea time. And of course I'm reading from my beloved news day. Yep. <laughs> um, and it's about a newsman, uh, ABC's Dan Abrams plans makeover for Laurel Lake Vineyards. So Dan Ooh. Abrams has purchased Laurel Lake Vineyards on the North Fork. Wow. And is tr- is ready to transform it into this very luxurious uh, new vineyard experience. So coming soon on our tasting room, we'll be drinking Dan Abrams from ABC's right. Very Bougie Wine. I and love it. That's I awesome. I just love it. I just love all of the exposure that Long Island Wine Country is getting. And um, this is anytime you get celebrities, you know, that – invest i mean so many of the wineries already like you heard in one of our past episodes they're purchased they're bought by the intamins or these like these billionaires these great people um and now we have this celebrity who's like excited to be on the north fork and he's gonna put a bunch of money into it and i think you know what the winemaker uh i was reading is juan i'm gonna miss it sepulva sepulva remember juan our good friend juan Juan? yeah yeah Yeah. mark Yes. Sepulveda. Wow. I can't say Juan, I love you. I'm sorry I can't say your last name. But um Sepulveda, yeah, who Juan used to be a you know, he's always been a great winemaker on the North Fork and he got kind of handpicked to be Dan Abrams' new winemaker. Good for him. Which That's is awesome. a coup because let me just tell you, Juan's wines are good. Juan's wines. I just I should Juan's trademark wines. that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Juan's Great. wines are amazing. <laughs> And so I can't wait to see. Makes me so happy. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they produce. So, you know, there's always something super cool happening on Long Island. And this is just, I mean, literally every day I open the paper, there's something new. Like Susan Lucci is having a new show. And there's just, there's always something. Based on Long Island? No. But I, oh, you know who is having a new show based on Long Island? Um, Ed, what's his name? (laughs) I gave it to the team, this this uh, Ed, he's a super cool director, movie, filmmaker, and he's doing a show called Bridges and Tunnels about- Ed Burns. Ed Burns, thank you. I love Ed Burns. Oh my God. <gasps> Ed Burns, awesome. there's a whole new thing. Ed Burns has a new show called Bridges and Tunnels, um, and it's based, it's kind of like, it sounds to me like it's, instead of that 70s show, it's like that 80s show. Because it's based yeah, on yeah. his childhood on it. Long Island in the 80s. It's so amazing. It's and so amazing. I mean, like, so many people are from here, and they love it here, and they want to celebrate the culture here. And we're lucky to live here. We are um, lucky to live here. Yeah. And so that I guess that should probably be my teaser, is that Ed Burns has a new show coming out, too. But um, So that's my teaser. What about you? My teaser was going to be your, your um, DLI TV episode, which is airing. Um it's awesome, right? So the bougie the, we valentines. The bougie valentines. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see you. You know, do that whole experience with. Oh my god, um, it was so fun. Cloud Nine. I know. I know. We talked about it last episode, but and who was Hayden was the guy from Cloud Nine. But just to see the whole experience and the and the um, stay marquee. Stay Marquee. Which is awesome. So Stay Marquee, let me tell you, this house in the Hamptons that we're highlighting in our Bougie Valentine's episode is epic. It is so beautiful. I just, I really you had to kind of get the cane and like pull me out. <laughs> I yeah, know. sure. I was like, sure. I was, I, <laughs> I was subtly, the homeowner was actually there working from the home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And I was subtly um, trying to make friends with him. <laughs> I was right. like, hey. <laughs> your house is so lovely. What do you do? Tell me more. And he was like, no, like, no. <laughs> She's. <laughs> think your family's back on Wi Fi. Son of a. Yeah, no, we're almost done. Are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'm good. So, yeah, I was trying to make friends with him, and he was like, no, thank you. Um, Because, you know, that's the only way you get to go to the Hamptons, really, in normal life, is if you have friends in the Hamptons. Um, (laughs) So I was like, I need to make friends. I'm trying to keep trying. And they're like, ah, we're good. Alex Um, didn't call you back yet? No. He didn't even ask for the number, to be honest. He was like, thanks for coming. Bye-bye. But but you don't need friends when you have Stay Marquee. 
you know, right, um, turns exactly. out that's the good part. And you know what? The other thing is, Sharon, we just filmed. It won't be out for another week, but we just filmed our um, President's Day episode as well of Long Island TV. And wow. um, we did presidential stuff and we went, we really talked about the Culper Spy Ring. That's Which, awesome. as you know, I'm like such a fan of the Culper Spy Ring. And, well, because it's like literally right in your backyard. And, which and is awesome. it is such a cool story. I mean, people don't realize that after the Battle of Long Island, okay, mm-hmm. which is called the Battle of Long Island, but it took place in Brooklyn. So people will be like, that's not Long Island. I'm like, let me tell you right. that it is. Let me tell you that it right. is. Let me tell you that a, you it was technically Long Island at the time, which is co- why it's called the Battle of Long Island. Right. And also, just so you know, we're taking back Brooklyn. I've just decided. And Queens. <laughs> um, but anyway, but we were under occupied rule after 1776 for seven years. Okay? Wow. We were behind enemy lines on Long Island for seven years after 1776. And it we fought. We, we were instrumental. The Long Island patriots that were the Culper Spy Ring were instrumental in George Washington winning the war. And um, I get all pumped up about it because it's so cool. And I can't wait for you to see that episode. So that'll be coming soon, too. So if you know if you love Long Island Tea, subscribe to Long Island TV on our YouTube channel. And make sure you're checking out uh, all of the shows. And also, leave us the reviews. Leave us your yeah, five-star reviews. We love the reviews. We read them on air. I think it's so fun. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of the times is we're also pushing our own, you know, through our own social. Um, so I, I love getting the feedback like Catherine, um, who does our social for the Long Island tea screenshotted something the other day. And she's like, this must be somebody, you know, because it, the comment was Shasha, you're on my reels, you know, <laughs> like on my Insta reels, which I'm like, yay. And like a lot of my family and my, my close friends, or whatever, call me Shasha from, that's my nickname, I guess. Shasha but, is uh, your nickname? How did I never yeah. know this? I'm it's like, funny. Shasha? <laughs> it's Shasha. I'm, I'm going to call Shasha. you Shasha now? From I'm like, well, I can't believe I know this. Like, a lot of people in the office will say, hey, Cher. Cher. And I'm like, no. Yeah. I don't know. No. <laughs> no. You're like, there can only be one diva with my name. Right. And Cher's and taken. And we're duplicating. Yeah. So <laughs> it's Shasha. So anyway. <laughs> But I mean, like, even just the was it someone that you knew? Yeah, it's actually one of my friends. Who, like, she was surprised to see us come up in her Insta reels, which was awesome. Oh my god, that's so cute! So yeah, cute. we didn't we, think, we didn't read any this week because we we've, we've been backed up with the snow. Yeah, and this we'll, is we'll, my excuse to everything. I'm like, it was a snow day, but we did get <laughs> some. So I mean, we will do it next week for sure because we love them and we love the the five star reviews as always. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just have to say the merch is on our website, on Facebook, and all our social channels that we are promoting the merch for Long Island Tea. Oh, it's ready? It's ready. It's, it's on there. We haven't gotten the mug yet, but it's still up there and everything like that. Yay. But I did, I did put the um, Where I Belong onesie on my little Everly, and she just looked so cute. Oh, it was so fun. Oh, my God. That's so, so cute. She belongs on Long Island. I'll post a pic on the social of Edward and the Where I Belong onesie. Oh, my God. You have to. So cute. Okay. This was a great episode. I hope everyone liked it. Please follow discoverlongisland.com to get all of your great Valentine's inspiration because we've only mentioned a few, to be honest. We've only mentioned a few of our places. There are hundreds and thousands of businesses and partners that we deal with around Long Island, and they are so excited to welcome you and to have your support in your business. So please go to discoverlongisland.com. Follow us uh, anywhere you get your podcasts and uh, make sure you give us that five-star review or DM us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And And Sharon, I can't wait till you're home. I know. I'm coming. I'm coming. I promise. (laughs) All right. Thanks, everyone. And we will see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.